Hello there, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Russell Joestar here with the second game in the Lethal Enforcer series. Lethal Enforcers 2 Gunfighters. I just. That opening is so epic. Come on, you have to admit. That epic is opening. That just gets you pumped. You're like, yeah, give him a six shooter, blow away some bad guys. Uh, but as you can see on MAME, my trusty arcade emulator, the video emulation is not all the way there, at least with this version of the emulator and this version of the ROM. What can you do, though? So, this is the sequel, as I mentioned, to Lethal Enforcers, and instead of being in the urban, they went for the Old West, because who doesn't like an Old West shootout? Now, I do have the same settings as on the other game, where it was Nine Lives, whatever the medium, yeah, default difficulty setting is, I think it's the medium. But I also have it set to free play, so we don't get to hear the awesome sound when you put your quarters in. Like, is that not awesome? Alright, let's get this started. You can't wait for me with that bank robbery. Just right off the bat, I remember why I liked that like this game more than the original Lethal Enforcers. It just sounds awesome. Like, wow. Love that soundtrack. Yeah, well, I just did. Oh, that was cheap. Did you see that? Gal in the center window does the I don't want to die thing, and as soon as she ducks down. Outlaw pops up behind her. Clever guy. I don't know why they're popping up though. Okay. That gun gives you two pistols to use. Double rig, they call it. But oh, okay, I'm going with the double rig. Unfortunately, this game does the same thing that Lethal Enforcers does, and that your guy drops his gun if he gets hit. Oh, how did he get in that vault? No, sorry. Oh. Oh. That guy pulls the I Surrender Suckers thing on you. You gotta be careful with him. I get it your face, so. <laughs> Ow! Ooh. They're shooting me up, Sheriff! There's a. Oh! There we go. This guy. Just dies. <laughs> uh, I'm the big bad. Oh. I think they thought about giving. Oh, a Gatling gun. <laughs> this guy <laughs> just jumps in. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and then he just dies. So many bank robbers. My goodness. He does the same thing. Slow down there, Annie Oakley. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. Sir, can I get a power up? Because a boss is coming up, so. I guess not. All right, then I'll have to take you dead. This guy's all, it's, it's a lot more manageable than in Lethal Enforcers, in my opinion. Ooh, 
some extra life. So let's just see Old West. How can you not like that? Solution. Nobody messed with the sheriff. I put a hole in your vest just like old Josie's friend. Alright, so we got Native Americans working. Oh! shot the bugle boy. Don't want to shoot the bugle boy. It counts as an innocent shot. I think those are pretty much the only innocents in this stage. There's the people in the window, the stagecoach, and then there's um, the bugle boy. Which I don't know why you would poke your head out. Oh yeah, you know, there's, there's a shootout going on. I'm gonna... You know, just, just trying to, like... Ooh, double rig. Gotta watch that stagecoach stop, because bad guys will pop up. Too awesome. Ooh. I don't know what a 50 caliber shark is, but it sounds nice. Oh. and damages you. Enough at me, will ya? Alright, I'll show you. Nobody mess with the sheriff. Ah, gotcha. I guess he thinks he's an airplane. is horrible. Let's Bonus see stage! In between the shootouts with dangerous criminals, Sheriff Frazzle likes to shoot drinks at the local pub. Alright. I've ranked up? Okay. Sorry to crash your little party here. Oh, okay. That's uh, quite a concealed weapon there. If they don't want to die, bartender, then just stay under the bar. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> why, why do people pop up down there? I guess it's to try to trick you, but... At least they don't do that... Ooh, I'm slightly off there. Uh, one of them will actually... Ooh! <laughs> he tumbles down the stairs, and then he poses dramatically for his death. This must be JoJo's Bizarre Adventure of the Western. in this game are, like, super badass because they all have mustaches. And good ones. Except that guy. Oh! Ow! Wait, look at that guy! He's got a mustache. He does a whole jumping in thing. Ah, sorry, it looks like you're gonna be the one eating the lead. trying to say they're crazy, but... <laughs> I like that you can do that. What? What? That guy came out of nowhere! Did you see that? That was sheep. That's not right. <sighs> Even in the Western times, Sheriff Razzle shoots the good guys on accident. Don't mind if I do. These bandits probably send the people to do that. Oh yeah, just walk with your hands on your heads and I'll block his fire. Because Sheriff Razzle don't shoot any of the innocent bystanders. Random drunk guy. At least I'm guessing he's drunk. Yeah, he's drunk. Ooh! Sh showdown. Ugh. I'm probably gonna mess up on this quite a few times. You gotta shoot all three of them. Ah, almost, come on! Alright. Let's try this again. Oh, I was so, just slightly off. Gotcha! Ooh! <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pick up our tab, boys. Uh, I love how they do that, though, like... I've never seen that happen, by the way. I know Red Dead Redemption has, like, shootouts, but... I've never seen that in a game before. Or in a like on game, at least. That's so cool. I like how they do that. Give you that full, stereotypical Western experience. 
now. You were in my way. This is another stage where Mammy's graphics like to tweak out. Ow. Where are you gonna pop? Oh, okay there, son. This might be useful. <laughs> Try taking cover now. Better be careful with the sharp, though. Since it goes through cover, you can accidentally shoot one of the innocents. And a good cheer if don't put holes in the innocent. How do you like my horrible Western accent? <laughs> That's quite a way to react to getting shot in the leg. They got tied up. Oh my. I don't get what the point behind that was, but okay. You guys are out. Okay, I was about to, right when I was about to say, you guys aren't too good at this. Stage hold up business. Just don't even try anymore, son. But there's nobody who have a gunpoint. Yeah, the bad guys must be sending the innocent people along the way to try to distract me. I'll use them as some kind of unconventional form of cover. That's underhanded tactics, and Sheriff Joestar don't like underhanded tactics. Ouch. I haven't played this in a while. I used to be pretty decent at this. Being able to get pretty high accuracy scores and not die as much. Oh, this guy. I hope they're not planning to do anything with this except loot. Because, uh, you're putting a bunch of holes in your uh, wagon there, boys. I mean, train. Is the boss gonna show up? I'm the crazy boss, Victor! They're so fast. I get open power soon. Guys hopping around like a jackrabbit. Come on, come on. What do you got, you crazy prospector? Ah. Ooh, I really blew it there. Okay. I'm starting to throw two at me. what happens when you don't have your ticket. Try and hit the bottles. Alrighty then. Bonus stage. We need people to start clapping their hands and stamping their boots on the ground. Reload. 
See, I used to be able to get every single one of those. U.S. Marshal. Ooh, is this it? Okay, Mineco. I wonder if they know the OK Corral. <laughs> I think I get small. Yeah, where's Wyatt Earp when you need him? Got me good there. He's like, what's all this shooting? I was taking a nap. Ugh, I'm being attacked by grandmas. Must be a crime family. There goes that drunk man. That must this must be where he lives. <laughs> it's like hey, it's kids and they're shooting. Can't get no sleep around here. No, thank you. Trying to pull a, a wider on me down there. Price is up. No! Just dies. Grandma's everywhere. To fill him in, fill a hole, Sheriff. I'm gonna be Swiss cheese by the time I get out of here. sure there's cover for you to duck behind. Crazy grandmas. Love the sharp. Ah, gotta be careful. I don't want to shoot that guy. I think a bullet would have went through him and hit the girl. Be careful there. Now. Well, that must be some special dynamite that doesn't harm hostages. Is that it? We done here. So the final boss is a chieftain. What the hell? No, serious this is why? Is this the guy organizing the the, the the bandits this whole time? Like Is this like a territory that's in the north and these are like Angry Confederates teaming up with Native Americans or something? I mean, no offense to either of those two groups. I'm just trying to piece together a conceivable plot here from what is on the screen at the moment. And I apologize if anybody potentially finds this offensive, and I fully understand why. I just forgot about that. I well, forgot about this. This is ridiculous. Uh, 
<sighs> and that's what happens when you don't pay a land taxes. You turn into a skeleton. Okay. U.S. Marshal. U.S. Marshal. And that's the end of this old tale. Basil Joe Stop put the holes in every single bad guy that dared set foot in this here town and made the okay town safe again. And, uh. Yeah. Now, there's some folk who tell a different version of this tale. Well, Sheriff Asshole has his good old friend, Sheriff Nicolini, and they form the mighty duo Posse and take out the criminals. They tried getting their good friend Tomagi in on this Posse, but Tomagi was always more of a writing type and wasn't really into the old shooting business. But they did know a good man named John, and John always won at cards. No one could ever beat him got himself a reputation of master of games, and was quick on the draw. Some townsfolk liked it, John, some townsfolk hated him, cause he always won the cards. Everybody swore he was always cheating, but I knew better than that. I seen the man play cards himself, and he was one heck of a player, always managing to out-bluff and out-bet everyone. Sure, he didn't win every hand, the man knew what he was doing, and was the best it was ever around. As for me, I just continue walking around, making my stories, telling old folklore, and I realize this accent's probably horrible and everybody hates me now, <laughs> but it, what can you do when you're trying to think of what to say over the credits? And if any of y'all wanted to listen to the credit song instead of listening to me yammer on about made-up tales, I apologize. Maybe I'll be uploading a soundtrack for y'all somehow. I don't know how I do that. Antique Village. I've been there before. What? Old Tuscan Studios. Hmm. Looks like I had some help with that. I know I said this already, but the music! It's so good! It's amazing! Oh, another playthrough again, eh? Uh, not today, boys. I ain't gonna keep it going today. How do I make this thing go down faster? High score table time? Yay! And that was Lethal Enforcers 2, Gunfighters. I want to know, what do y'all think? Do you like Lethal Enforcers 1 better, or do you like Lethal Enforcers 2 better? Or if you played Lethal Enforcers 3, how do you think of that? Let me know in the comments down below. If you think these games are stupid and you're wondering why I waste my time on them, hey, let me know that too. All opinions are valid as a gamer. I realize different folks, different strokes. Hey, some people thought Five Nights at Freddy's was scary, and some people think it's the stupidest thing ever. So, I understand. I ain't gonna rip your head off or anything. As long as you're respectful. And, uh, this is Sheriff Joe Star reminding you to rate, comment, and subscribe for more arcade madness. Take it easy, and I'll be seeing y'all on the next level.